I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a chart of the economy of colonial America in the 1700s. Okay, the first thing we have to do is divide up our colonies. So I'm coming over here to the left and I'm going to draw one, two, three, four straight lines. Whoops. Come down, draw another rectangle. One, two, three, four straight lines. One more. One, two, three, four straight lines. The top rectangle is going to be for the New England colonies and those are Massachusetts. I'm going to do abbreviations on some. New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. Okay? Next, the middle colonies. Those are New York, Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. The southern colonies are the last rectangle, and those are Virginia, Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Starting at the bottom co uh, corner of each rectangle, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy line across to the edge of my paper. Come down to this corner. Slightly wavy, wavy line to the edge of my paper. All right. What you have to realize is the economy or the business of colonial America was built on resources. So I'm going to put a dot right here and I'm just going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Come back to the dot. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Connect the two. One, two, three little straight lines. Right next to it. Zigzag, zigzag. Overlap. Don't draw through your drawing. Zigzag, zigzag. One, two, three little straight lines. Down here, if you can fit a baby one, zigzag, zigzag, one, two, three. Lumber, wood, big, big resource. Lumber, wood. Next to it, we're going to put a dot. Curve line down, up. Come back to the dot, straight line across, connect. One, two straight lines. One, two, three, four straight lines. One, two, three, four straight lines. Straight lines across inside. What is this? This is ship building, which ties in with the lumber, which ties in with trade commerce. How are you going to get your products to and fro? So let's put trade up here at the top because in each one of the colonies trade, wavy line, wavy line, was a big, big deal. That is commerce. Underneath, flat oval, one, two straight lines, slightly curved line, rum, R-U-M, rum, and that is liquor. Liquor is very expensive. All right, put another dot, curve line up, in, out, in, 
back to the dot, curve line, connect. One, two little curve lines, let's put a dot. Whaling, whaling, a big resource. That was energy, whale oil, okay? Underneath, let's put it right here, straight diagonal down, curve line up. That's a nose. One, two. That is somebody sneezing from snuff. That's a tobacco product. And right here, if you have room, put a dot, curve line, straight diagonal, up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, wavy, wavy line, little curve line, little curve line, dot, dot, curve line, dot, dot. This is livestock. They also had dairies. Livestock and dairies. Okay? If you think about all of these things, they are all from natural resources. That was all part of the trade that they used. Now come down to the middle colonies and you're going to have some repeats. Put a dot. Zigzag, zigzag, go back to the dot, zigzag, zigzag, connect, one, two, three, little straight lines. Yes, they still had lumber going on in the middle colonies. Come up here, put a dot, curve line up, out, in, out, straight line, connect, put a dot, one, two, little curved lines. Whaling was still a major resource. Now though, put a dot, we're going to add wavy line out and in on the left. Put a little curved line, wavy line out, in on the right. Wavy line down, wavy line down, wavy line out, in, wavy line out, in, Straight line, curved line, straight diagonals. This is fur, beaver pelts to make hats, coats. Big business for trade. Trade again. Lots of business going on with trade. Okay? Now, come down, put a dot, flat oval. Slightly curve line out, back, up, connect, mimic this line. And this was a whole industry unto itself, shoes. Come over here on the right, curve line, curve line back, connect. One little straight curve line up, mining. Mining. And what were they mining? Copper. Another resource. Natural resource. Okay, put another dot. Big curve line up. Back. Straight line, straight line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Curve lines inside. They also have ship building going on. It's like cars are today. And right here put a dot, curve line, straight diagonal, curve line up, curve line up on the right, up on the left, wavy wavy, curve line, dot 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 dot. They also had a heavy livestock dairy farm animals going. Again, major, major trade, natural resources. Now we come to the southern colonies. All of a sudden, because of the environment, it changes. Now we have what we call cash crops. And this is part of the problem with enslaved people because you need people to do the actual hands-on. So we're going to do curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Tobacco, tobacco, a cash crop. That's all you're doing. You're growing it to make money. 
Come down here below. One, two, three. Slightly curved lines. Wavy line. Connect. 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 Cotton. Cotton was king. They made a lot of money off of cotton. And then down at the bottom, just some straight lines, wavy line. They also did rice. Cash crops. Tobacco, cotton, and rice. The only thing they did uh, that they, they grew it for was to make money. Come over to the top. Put a dot. Zigzag, zigzag. Come back to the dot. Zigzag, zigzag. One, two, three. Connect. They also had lumber, like the upper colonies did also. Put a dot, big curve line, curve line back. One, two straight lines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four straight lines inside. They also had shipbuilding. Why? Because they have to take those crops over the seas. Shipbuilding is a constant in each one of the colonies. And what is the other constant? Trade. This is how you made your money. Trade. That's another video we'll talk about. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is such a busy chart that, like I always say, you don't want to spend a lot of time on the coloring because you don't want to mess it up with a lot of details. But you do want it to show. So I'm going to do all of my greens first, especially down here. Okay. Get all of those lumber. And like I said, these are natural resources. That's what the colonies were known for. Next, I'm going to take my brown. Color in my space here, here, here. Put a little bit down here on this cash crop of cotton. Definitely color in my ships, my shipbuilding, which was a big, it's like the car companies are now, a big money maker. And let's do all of these livestock brown. Livestock. Forgot some ears there. Okay. Next, I'm going to put a red top on my room. Now, you wouldn't know this, but you can make a lot of money off of liquor. So that's red. You might not know this either, but shoes was also a big commodity. Put some brown down here. Put some brown on my mining and this part right here. Next, if you have gray, color in those whales. You gotta remember, whaling, big deal, whale oil, blubber. That was energy. Whoops, and I forgot my fur. Fur was also a big deal. You would wear fur coats, fur hats. Big deal. And... I'm going to put the top part of my pick and a little bit of blue down here for the rice. And finally, what did all of this do? Trade. Trade. This is what they got into fights about because trade was money. And the colonies were natural resources. Okay, I think that's all. Oops, I forgot my nose. Snuff, another tobacco pro uh, product. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my chart of the economy of colonial America in the 1700s. The two main things to remember are the colonies were natural resources and the whole meaning behind trade. 
Okay, bye-bye.